It's Wednesday, March 22nd, and Google has given Android OS developers an early Easter egg with the release of the Android O developer preview. The release comes a couple months before Google's big annual developer conference, and if you want in on the fun, we have a step-by-step -step guide to getting version O on your Android device. The O release is the next version of Android after N for Nougat. Quick note of caution here, this is a very beta release, and it's not something for amateurs to try and install. Hit the link for more information and the instructions on how to load it up on your device. Hackers say they've rounded up access assets for some 300 million Apple iCloud accounts, and they'd like $75,000 in Bitcoin or 100 grand in iTunes credits to keep it off the interwebs. Apple's response? Yeah, don't hold your breath. The hackers, who have identified themselves as the Turkish crime family, posted a video showing them accessing an iCloud account. But that wasn't enough to move Apple to pay the ransom, as Mac Rumors says Apple has requested a look at the dataset to see if the claims are real. So far, there's no word on if that has happened. So, 75 large or 100 grand in iTunes gift cards. I'm sure Apple would never be able to tell where those downloads are going. Smartwatches are still struggling to gain a foothold and make economic sense in the tech world. But the latest offering from China's Huawei, the Huawei Watch 2 Sport, is packing enough practical usefulness and polish to possibly change a few more minds. The $350 Sport runs on Android Wear 2.0 and combines comfort, an array of sensors, and loads of capability into a stylish package. DT's Julian Chokatu has a full review at the link. That's it for DT Daily Today. We've got more news on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. And be sure to check out yesterday's Close to the Metal podcast, our computing show where we went in-depth on Mass Effect Andromeda. That's it for today. See you again tomorrow.